The season one conclusion of the Netflix political drama The Diplomat revealed a startling amount about Ambassador Kate Weiler, yet it also answered as many questions as it raised. Throughout the first season of The Diplomat, Kate had to strike a balance between the professional difficulties, brought on by the attack on the HMS Courageous and the personal difficulties engendered by her husband Hal's schemes to get her the vice presidency, whether she wanted it or not. The cliffhanger conclusion of The Diplomat Episode 8 offered a startling explanation for Kate's attack-related blind spots, but also left some significant concerns unresolved. The first season of The Diplomat focuses heavily on the diplomat pair Kate and Hal in addition to the details of the British aircraft carrier strike. Given that their approaches to various problems were so dissimilar, their connection had a significant role in both Kate's professional accomplishments as well as some of her failures, at least in Kate's eyes. Because the fate of certain key characters was still unknown by the end of The Diplomat Episode 8, the Season 1 finale of The Diplomat resolved all the unresolved contradictions and raised hopes for a potential Season 2. Hal's speech at Chatham House was meant to support Kate's work. The Netflix political thriller The Diplomat tended to agree with Kate's perspective, and she frequently saw Hal as such, as well as the fact that many of his risky, potentially lucrative activities had a consequence. As a result, Hal's motivations were never quite clear in season one. Given the president's displeasure with Ganon, Hal's old friend Louis Quainton even speculated in season one of The Diplomat that Hal might be rejecting his offer because he was hoping to be named Secretary of State. Hal's gratified response did indeed suggest that he might be content with such a result. Hal's address at Chatham House, however, had Kate's work as its exclusive focus. Hal's Chatham House address focused on talking to everybody, regardless of rank, in order to achieve peace. Given that Kate listened to both Iranian and Russian officials to find a solution to the attack on the HMS Courageous, her speech's inherent political nature would have only improved Kate's image when her vice presidency was announced. It was also consistent with Kate's actions as ambassador. Furthermore, given that MP Merritt Grove was the target of the car bombing in the Diplomat Season 1 finale, he must have been aware of the Prime Minister's participation, making the meeting about the investigation rather than Hal's future candidature for Secretary of State. Kate wearing the red dress signaled her marriage ended in The Diplomat. The first season of The Diplomat included a lot of Kate repeating her desire for Hal to go and give her some space to work. She still hadn't forgotten or forgave Hal for his valiant actions in Afghanistan, which purchased time but prevented 300 Afghans who were cooperating with the United States from being transported out of the country. That, together with the high cost most of Hal's careless deeds demanded to be paid, did not convince Kate to have faith in Hal once more. However, their collaborative success with the Russia plan persuaded Kate to give Hal another chance and to stop worrying about having to be married in order to become vice president. She then allowed Hal to think about the VP concept. By choosing to wear the red dress to the gala, Kate made it clear that she was done attempting to patch things up with Hal and giving him one more chance. Even though it wouldn't have required her to act on her uncertain feelings for Austin Dennison, dressing in a way that was so different from how she typically dressed was meant to signal that she was prepared for a new beginning. After all, The Diplomat Season 1 provided Kate plenty of reasons not to take Hal at face value. Even if her realization was founded on the incorrect presumptions in this particular instance, The Diplomat's car bombing brings Kate and Hal back to the start. Given the car bombing in The Diplomat Season 1 finale's ending, Kate's decision to finally marry Hal will definitely encounter a barrier. In the closing scene, her security team undoubtedly arrived to inform her of the bombing and to get her to safety. Now that Hal's life might be in danger, the ambassador is probably prepared to change her mind. Even though the car bombing actually jeopardized Hal's life, Kate was not at all ready for him to pass away. After all, their most recent life-altering incident had cemented Hal as the risky man in her opinion. Trowbridge explains everything that didn't make sense about the attack. One of the Diplomat season 1 finale's most stunning disclosures was that British Prime Minister Nicole Trowbridge was responsible for the attack, yet, his involvement was the only thing that could have explained the attack's irregularities. After all, Kate and her team never discovered who actually ordered the attack. They only proved that Iran wasn't behind it for sure and that Russia would have been pleased to see the true, typically Russian-affiliated offender apprehended as retaliation. An assault would have been the ideal occasion for it, given that Trowbridge also had a reason to galvanize the nation. He needed the Tories to win the by-election so that the UK wouldn't lose Scotland. Grove wanting to meet Hal proved some Tories knew about Trowbridge. In the last scenes of The Diplomat Season 1 finale, Kate expertly outlined to Austin why only whoever was responsible for the attack would have wanted Lenkov dead. Even said, the fact that she and Austin were kept in the dark about the underlying motivation of the operation against Lenkov wouldn't necessarily imply that no Tory MPs were aware of Trowbridge's objectives. Grove's haste to contact Hal demonstrated that he likely had access to the same intelligence that French Interior Minister Fournier revealed with Kate, establishing Trowbridge as the antagonist of the vehicle bombing and the assault on HMS Courageous in Season 1 of The Diplomat. What The Diplomat Season 1 ending means for Season 2 even though Netflix's last political thriller, The Night Agent, had the good fortune to receive a renewal less than a week after its debut, season two of The Diplomat is yet to be announced. 
Deborah Khan's multi-year contract with Netflix may indicate a renewal if the diplomat season one is successful. The existence of a season two is still uncertain. But if a second season of The Diplomat materializes, it ought to make clear whether Stuart, Ronnie, and Hal escaped the vehicle bombing. It's improbable that they were killed off in The Diplomat Season 1 given their importance to the plot and their distance from the car, although the cliffhanger finale did suggest that they might be in danger. Moreover, now that Trowbridge's involvement has been established, Kate and Austin will need to figure out how to stop him. Season 2 of The Diplomat will undoubtedly be full of intrigue and adventure. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.